Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. One of the really cool things that's come about with the progress of generative AI and large language models is much better chatbots. So previously chatbots used to be very structured around a very limited set of questions and answers. Now with large language models, they can really chat much more like a person. Maybe not perfectly, but certainly in many cases pretty uncanny. So the site that I want to share with you today is called character.ai and here you are able to use and also build your own chatbots based around a particular theme, skill, uh, person, character, all sorts of stuff really. And so where we are on the main page, up the top here, uh, we have some continued chatting with some that I've been experimenting with. I'm going to show you each of these. We can also see a whole lot of recommended and you can see it really is quite a wide range, some that are quite practical, some that are certainly much more for entertainment and some pretty different target audiences, I would imagine, amongst them as well. If we come down, we've got different types of different chatbots, different uh, things that can range from image generation, game characters, helpers is a really good one. So we can see here in helpers, we've got psychologist, creative helper, dating coach, musician, librarian, which is one of the ones that I've been experimenting with. And then down the bottom, we've got a whole lot of examples as well. So some of the chatbots and some of the things that you might ask them. So these are ones that people have put together. You can also create your own. So over on the left here, really nice, simple interface. In the middle, we've got create. So create a character will let you create your own chatbot. Create a room will let you set up a room where you can have more than one chatbot. They can interact with each other and you can interact with them. And create a persona is where you tell the system more about yourself. So here is the persona that you are going to be using to interact with the chatbot so that it's more tailored to you rather than just giving generic responses if it has a persona that it knows it's talking to then it can try and adapt its responses to suit you so having a look at some of these built ones so here's the librarian one it does book recommendations i think you can ask it other things but really book your recommendations is what it's been built for and so my favorite author raymond chandler i thought i would ask what some similar authors that i might like and certainly anyone that knows about Detective Noir would know that Dashiell Hammett is what should probably come up first, and you can see that it does. And then I adapted my question to say, well, what about more modern authors? And I got some good suggestions there as well. So I played around with other genres, other things that I like with this one, and I found that the suggestions were really good. So it would suggest fairly standard things to start with, but certainly the kinds of things you would expect in each genre that I asked about. But then it went to slightly more obscure and more interesting ones. So for those of you that read a lot, you might start off, you might say, I like this particular genre, or I might like this particular author. And when you see the more common list, you might say, well, can you give me some things that are a little bit more obscure or like this, but with some sort of twist? And I found that it was really good. So really nice, useful application of a chatbot, something you can interact with. Something else that they're working on for the site is speech to text and text to speech. So you will actually be able to chat uh, with, with uh, words rather than having to type your communications with the chatbot. So that's something that's coming in the future, which I think is also pretty exciting. So moving along to the next one. So another one of the helper ones that I had a look at was a language one. So I thought I would just give it a quick little test here. There is some language ones where they speak a single language. With this one, uh, we can see uh, Hyperglot is supposedly fluent in lots of languages. So I thought I'd test it out, a couple of languages where I know a little bit, not a lot. And so I said hello to it in Russian, and we can see that it responded, kind of, hi, how am I? I'm good. Uh, requested that it uses uh, the English style phonetics rather than Cyrillic. Just a little bit easier to read and we can see that it observed that. Then I took a real left turn and I said hello to it in Māori. I'm originally from New Zealand and was curious whether it would be able to deal with that and it did. So it gave me the response and so 
quite interesting was that I left it for a while. So car pie, uh, this is good. It gave me a response. But then this next one came a little while later. So it actually tried to prompt me back into the conversation. So I thought that was pretty cool. Be interested for those of you who are learning languages. Do a bit of experimentation yourself. See what you think. Is it good? Is it not? Just on this really basic surface level stuff that I had a bit of a play with looks pretty good. So in terms of something where you can actually interact in the in that language you are learning, gives you something a bit different from say your Duolingo, and could be really useful. So next up, I thought I would just show you the help. They have a really nice detailed help. So lots of information here. What we've got character attributes so in addition to using these uh, bots that are already there you can make your own and so I had a bit of a play with this as well just very very brief so I thought I would create a version of myself and so here I am it asks you for description and we can see back here uh, there's a whole lot of different attributes you can give it short description long description categories uh, so a lot of information that you can tell it to help it guide how it goes about responding. Mine was fairly brief, so key bit being uh, my qualification, interest in statistics, things that I like to help people about, and then I tested it out. And so we can see here, asked it about normal distribution. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's maybe a little bit brief. Asked it how to use R for a factor analysis. Did give me the correct function name, but certainly didn't really give me enough. Uh, asked for more detail and gave me a little bit more detail. Certainly with this example, this is something that I think ChatGPT just straight out of the box can do a little bit better. So maybe I could try again and make it with a different description, different set of attributes, uh, and see whether it can do a reasonable job of maybe talking about something else. So you can see the last question that I asked it there about pursuing a career in statistics. And I thought that was a pretty reasonable answer. So maybe what I would want to do if I was making this as something that was useful, maybe for people that follow me on YouTube, is really diving more into that side of things rather than the technical stuff, where maybe ChatGPT or some of the other co-pilots might do a better job. So the last thing that I tested out was a room. And so I got the, the chatbot that I made of myself and I put it together in a room with the librarian. And then when you make a room, it asks what the discussion topic is. I thought statistics resources would be one that these two might talk about. And we can see that they start chatting to each other. And then you can jump in. You've got the type of message box down the bottom here where you can interject, you can add things, you can help direct the conversation between them. So here where it is uh, me with the, the little avatar and the librarian, that is completely removed from me. Those two are chatting to each other. The one here with just the purple, that is me the user. And so me the user who is typing things in is separate from me the chatbot. You can see I gave them a little bit of prompt here because they got a little bit stuck. And so then the librarian went on to suggest some statistics books. These are okay don't really have deep critiques, don't actually know all of them, but certainly they're quite reasonable. If you are ever hunting for books, generally my recommendation, particularly if you're starting out, is to just go to that statistics section in the library, and there's going to be a whole lot, so just trying to pick out one that speaks to you. So then I interjected again, asked about online resources, and me the chatbot came back. I can assure you, uh, me, me the human being, not the chatbot, I don't think we'd ever use big data with the quotes around it like this. So there's a bit of a giveaway. If you ever have a what might be me, if it says big data with quotes around it, or worse still says uh, anything positive about SPSS, then you know that's not me, that is some sort of fake. The options that I give here, Khan Academy is certainly fine for beginner stuff. StatQuest is very good, uh, certainly something that I would recommend for a lot of more advanced material and these other ones obviously youtube i mean youtube's got a bit of everything and uh, that's where you're watching this right now so this was character.ai everything you've seen here is on the free plan they do have a paid plan they've got the little button here and so we can see ten dollars a month 
you get priority access, you get uh, early access to new features, you get a community, community access, so you get some things you wouldn't otherwise get, but it's a fully functioning site without that. It is just something you can jump in there, you can have a play. Uh, I would recommend it more for trying to use these helpers. We can see down here language learning, here's another one that is pretty good. Uh, down in some of these suggestions, so practicing new language, practicing interviewing, it's another good one, and particularly when they get the uh, the voice going, so you can actually speak rather than typing, I think that'll be great. Uh, but we can see, write a story, make a decision, plan a trip. There's the book recommendations that we looked at before. So some really great stuff there, I definitely recommend it for just spending a bit of time and really seeing where chatbots have come to. Uh, I think overall, whilst this is something you could do in ChatGPT, for something where it's really honed on a persona and honed on a specific character without you having to go through all of the effort of the prompts, and the fact that there's a whole lot of them here. So you can just go through, you can see if there's one that already suits what you're wanting to do rather than having to craft it up yourself. Then I think that is going to be something that's really fun and interesting for you. So character.ai to access the site. I'll be right really soon with more videos on AI, statistics, R, research, and random stuff.